Yeah, the, what was the one, like, the, the open world fantasy game where every character looked like they had a teeny bopper sitcom on Disney Channel? So yesterday we had an Xbox Game Roundup Developer Direct. It was a, it was a, it was a <laughs> big thing. That's the rumor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they announced uh, several games on it, and here was the, uh, the big rundown from it. We saw Aura, History Untold, Avowed, Visions of Mana, which, which apparently was not announced uh, prior to it and just kind of popped in. Hellblade 2, but the real the real big one was the Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Now, this is the one that I, I genuinely was, was excited to see, but Blabs, you wanted to talk about Hellblade first? I mean, not really. That's more a male on you who thought it was <laughs> <laughs> terrible. I agree. I thought it was nothing interesting and just... Ugh. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't understand it at all. And I, I do know when I was watching it, it's like, it bothered me. Like, if Square Enix can make a new Mana game, how in Nine Fiery Hells is Capcom not making a new Breath of Fire game yet? Like, man, that's there a great was never question. a single moment of the '90s that Breath of Fire wasn't a bigger franchise than Mana. There wasn't one moment of the night, and yet we haven't gotten one in. When was Dragon Quarter? I don't even remember we technically got a breath of fire six as a mobile game but it was one and done and gone in like three months it was right done. those don't count those yeah don't count. those do not count no, absolutely no. not no. oh and of course the uh, new hellblade starring dylan mulvaney fucking i i, I did not <laughs> i did not see dylan mulvaney in the game oh my I... that bitch looks like a nose tackle for the new york jets you didn't know <laughs> oh my god well, uh, like I said, the big news for me was Indiana Jones, and I was very skeptical. We've talked about the Great Circle uh, many times. Just what, what, what a horrible name it is, you know, and how the the number of memes that will come from the Great Circle. Uh, but I will say this: I was pleasantly surprised by the trailer, and uh, I I saw it, and I thought to myself, "Huh, that's pretty good." You know, they got Harrison Ford back. Obviously, not Harrison Ford as the voice actor of it. But uh, the the great circle is referencing how all of the land all these landmarks around the around the world are a giant circle and they're all connected if you drew, if you were to draw a line on them. Um, but the voice actor is not Harrison Ford. It will be Troy Baker. Who, oh my uh, god! Oh my god! What the fuck? This motherfucker! He's everything, and he need, <laughs> and yet, even though he does like two hundred different voices, they all those voices need to blow their fucking nose. Every single one. He Let sounds contested. What... Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> now I want to hear this again. All right, here we go. Playing your pointless game. I was playing you. You wondering if maybe you should have. Built yourself a life of meaning. Yeah, yeah, let's get, to, let's, let's get to him real quick. Here we go. There is a point later. Oh, by the way, they brought, they brought this. I don't, I don't even know what this guy's name is, but he's in all the movies, and that's pretty cool to see. Can't just run away from your problems, Indiana. He's just Indiana's friend. Here's, here's Indiana, Indiana Jones' voice. Watch me watch me so anyways it's a it's a first person first person game with third person elements of him sliding and gliding and using his whip and all sorts of stuff uh well, I, I will say this most indiana jones games have been third person yes yes but uh i don't know uh, poll in the chat are you guys excited for this after the first first uh trailer because i was like i said very skeptical i'm a big indiana jones fan i haven't even seen the last movie i'm, I'm like 30 minutes in, I got to the point where they uh, got past the de-aging stuff, and I have, I've had zero desire to go oh, back, yeah, dude, go back and play it. Was that called Indiana Jones and the old fucker looking and acting really fucking old? Whatever the, the fuck that was. Destiny. Yeah, right, right. Uh, but this seems fun, and I wonder if it is a, uh, you know, I wonder if this is going to be pulled off. Now, some people are very skeptical about it just based off of the people that I are am. working on it. Yeah, tell me more, Blabs. Um, I'm just very hesitant. One, isn't it Bethesda too? So that's like yeah. Okay. And did you see the the girl? The, yes. The, the the rainbow box on dude's shirt, right? No. With the, yeah, the Bethesda logo with the rainbow. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, there's gonna be some. 
boy that as his his little rant about starfield and modern bethesda's direction that's really What's been with off his the hair yeah what it's weird i thought you needed surgery topic. to get one of those i don't know yeah. <laughs> um edward curtis sevis senior narrative designer so there you go uh um, oh yeah. and he's writing mm. i'm very hesitant i think some graphics look pretty good and then some look kind of dated uh, they definitely try to pull you in with the nostalgic piano type Indiana Jones music that they always play to bring your member berry back in for yep. trailers and stuff. Um, if you notice, there's a girl introduced, and what really bugs me is that she said, and I quote, let's see if you can keep up, and she's saying that to Indiana Jones, and it's like, really, really, you gotta get that kind of girl in there? Like, she, couldn't she be like one you of the You gotta other get ones? the girl boss. You yeah, it's, get, it's, it's, and, it and we'll get very some... generic. Yeah, we'll get some kind of alphabet person. Maybe Indy will be transitioning. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so apparently, know, Indiana Jones isn't an alphabet person just because Harrison Ford remembers when the alphabet was invented. So <laughs> the the thing about this that gives me hope is it's supposed to take place between the second and third movies, right? Between the between uh, right before the Last Crusade, which. Alphabet people were not a thing in night and then not not to the scale that they are today. So my hope is that uh, none of that is necessarily thrown in. And if it is, I think that that shit's going to be rejected so far to half court. It's it's insane because it it just wasn't. If if you're supposed to reflect that timeline or that time in uh, in history, like come on, what are we doing here? So. Uh, yeah, from what oh, uh, Magnus Express says, between the first and second movies. No, I, I believe it's supposed to be between the second and third movies. But um, by the way, it's in between one of the original movies. Right, right. Well, three. we'll see. We'll see the kind of what happens. Only movies. Yes. The only three movies that are canon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The only yeah. lore. <laughs> but it, it is supposed to take place in there, so that gives me a little bit of hope. I will say that. But I don't know. I'm hesitant. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think in today's in today's uh video game world i think it's natural to be hesitant for sure i think is that's sweet a... baby ink involved these are all wonderful questions well. we don't we don't know we don't know these things but um yeah it's 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 crazy it really is crazy uh but that was the highlight for me out of this thing did y'all i don't know did y'all take any positives from it a lot of people were, were giving it some pretty rave reviews the just not not the game but the whole presentation the whole prison uh, of that game in particular, or like, the whole just, event? The whole event, the whole forty-five. I mean, it was minutes. handled better from a presentation standpoint, but like, I mean, first off, like at Microsoft, have you just noticed like Microsoft has purchased the planet? Like, like <laughs> right. everything. Like, if I breathe a little slower while we're doing this, it's only because every time I respirate, I actually have to pay royalties to Bill Gates. At this point. Like every studio, every commentator, everyone's owned by Microsoft. And yet, it kind of has failed to uh, really pay off for them yet. That's what I'm interested in is, okay, is Indiana Jones going to sell so well that they're finally going to make some money off of some of these exclusives? Because, like, Starfield underperformed relative to other Bethesda games, folks. We're aware it sold millions of copies. We're just saying. It didn't sell Skyrim numbers, right? They're still kind of waiting on one of these first-party Microsoft exclusives from these studios they just bought to actually pay off and i don't know i don't see it happening with an indiana jones game well is indie uh, game only from microsoft exclusive or is it gonna be like a bit of on playstation it's bethesda so it's probably uh microsoft exclusive yep it is uh it is xbox and pc that was the oh. whole thing yes okay, so that's pretty cool it is a killer app as they say <laughs> So I did like um, the presentation, like I want to say the word transition, because I did think it was pretty cool. What kind of like how they had like on a chalkboard almost and they just kind of like moved around that I thought was nice. But honestly, the games that shown, none of them did anything for me. Yeah. The, what was the one like the, the open world fantasy game where every character looked like they had a teeny bopper sitcom on Disney Channel? What the <laughs> fuck was that? What was that? Avowed? Was that yeah. it? Yeah. Right. What the f like, ah, what could be more immersive than a fully realized interactive fantasy simulation featuring orcs with Gen Z broccoli bouffant haircuts? Like, fuck, oh, shit. God was, damn, I am immersed right up to my nads. Wasn't that the game that everyone had, like, a very modern accent, but it was yes. like, fantasy, right? So it's not right? supposed to be, like, California. Fantasy lull. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, so look, uh, we'll have to see. I think the the, move, the game is coming out according 
to that tweet. It's coming out in uh, 2024, so we won't have to wait long within the year, probably mm-hmm. just in time for Christmas, which, you know, once again, this is one of those things where you're going to be able to play the movie, hopefully, and we're just going to see how it goes. So with a very narrative-driven game, and we'll see if Indy can take his place back from Laura Croft and Nathan Drake as the uh, right, rightful Tomb Raider. Why do you call Raider. her Laura? Uh, La- I mean, he's Lara. Like, look, it's 2024. Lara. Indiana Jones already has bigger tits than Lara Croft now. I don't know. If it's- <laughs> Congratulations. 